Okay, so we are gonna just have a last chat about how I got introduced to digital nomad lifestyle, simple living, and the second half of the video we'll talk about, you know, how's it been for the first month of doing it? And um, yeah, it's, it's been killer, killer. It's been like, you know when, I don't, there's someone has to be out there watching this video be like, okay, they go to school, primary school, high school, and like, you just feel like you never really fit in. That was me. Like I, the whole time I was in high school, I just didn't feel like I fit in at all. I just felt like, what am I doing here? I just didn't felt like the people that I'm being with, they just didn't think the way I did. And when I tried to fit in and like literally step out of my own skin and be like them, they'll be like, who the fuck are you? And like, it'd be like, they just wouldn't, I just didn't feel accepted. I don't feel like I really accepted them. And pretty much there was just so much friction in my life up until probably one year ago, where I decided to like, nah, screw this. Time to make some changes. I can't live like this. Life's too short. And um, and yeah, that's, the, that's the attitude that's sort of been burning inside me for the last 10 years until finally this year, in some months before that, where we started to make some changes for myself. And like, you have to, like, I guess there's probably some people out there that are probably my age, 25 years old, finished university, finished college, do really well in that space. And then they sit in that office job and they're like, is this it? Is this what I do for the next 40 years? I guess I had sort of like a fork in the road where I was like, okay, I could just shut up and don't listen to myself and just do what I've been told to do in this system of, you know, school, grades, stable job, invest, pretty maximum life. Or I can go down this road and be like, actually, I can actually, why don't I just think for myself and ask myself why I'm doing what I'm doing? Does it make sense what I'm doing? And should I continue it? And that's really something that was brewing in me for the last or I'd say as soon as I finished high university, I started thinking those things. Um, unfortunately, when I was in high school, I was pretty, pretty tied up in the system where I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna, I really, my, 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 literally my burning desire in life was to finish university really well and then get a job. That was my burning desire. And um, I did whatever it took to honestly do it. I cut out my friends. I didn't socialize as much. I cut out video games. I started hanging out with people that had jobs, you know, that were like, you know, I was 18, 17 years old at the time. They were 36, 34. So they were a few years in their career. And um, I literally just like hung around them like shit, like fly to shit, honestly. I was just asking them questions. You know, how did you get a job? How did you do it? What are the attitudes I should have? Um, if you were my age, what would you do? I asked them all those questions to like really accelerate my life to like get this job. And I did get it, right? I finished university at, I think, 19. I did it on scholarship as well, so I didn't pay for it, which is kind of nice. Helped me out now. Um, but to be honest, I don't really pride myself on that at all. University is university. Um, but yeah, finished at, finished at 19, started working at 19. And that first year of working in the job, I remember breaking down crying in tears like for the first time in ever. Like, I've never done that before. I'm usually a pretty strong willed person, but then just it that working from nine to five, the commuting, the not being able to share who I am, right? It was like school, but with like consequences, like actual consequences where if I didn't do what I was meant to do, or didn't didn't adhere to the status quo. I could lose my job, I get target yelled at, I could get you know on a magic plan. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. And I, I remember in tears because just of all the commuting, the traffic jams, the actual work itself, and the fact that everyone literally there was just so so vested into becoming inefficient. 
that that's how I really described it. I just found everyone doing their day to day in a in a in a method that's just so really inefficient and just literally trying to tick boxes and literally waste time until five o'clock. Like that was my experience, and I was working in accounting at that time. It might be different for you, but this is just what I found out, and it's my video. So if you want to talk about your stuff, make your own video and talk about it here. Alright. So um, but then just. Over time, I think you'll... Okay, so let me just switch gears here. If you're going through shit in your life right now, and you're an able-bodied, able, able minded human being, those adversities that are going through your life right now, they're going to help you in the future, in the future, right? Because all the struggles I just described to you and the ones I haven't talked about, they're gonna make you into the person who can handle the new type of life that you're gonna have in the future. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying is all the struggles that went through the last 15, 13 years, I think were necessary to build the lifestyle that I really wanted for myself and my life, right? So if you're going through those motions right now and you're a little bit younger than I am, I'm 26, maybe a little bit older, it's fine. It's all good. Um, like every adversity you go through has a seed of equal or larger benefit. Hundred percent. I'm a true believer of that. I'll, I'll testify on that. Whatever struggles you're going through, if you listen to yourself as you go through those motions, they're gonna teach you something, right? They're lessons. Like the way you feel about these things on your life, they're, they're indicators for something that's gonna happen to make you do a massive change like I did a few months back. So um, yeah, and so just just going into like, you know, how I came to this digital nomad lifestyle and simple living, I, I just found myself connected to those kinds of things. It's like my mind knew what I wanted before I knew what I wanted because I've been through things that I didn't want and like my mind's like, when I say my mind, I like my subconscious mind, spiritual thing, universe, God, whatever religion you believe in, whatever your background is. I feel like the human mind is so powerful that you could actually invent the reality that you wanted to, even without thinking about it, because of all the all the pain you go through, right? And this is assuming that you make the right decision in your life, by the way. Um, I'll talk about that later on, but like. I, I, when I was going through those tough moments of working my nine to five job, but I didn't really like at all, I felt myself just listening to certain things that were against that agenda, right? So, when I, I just found myself listening to podcasts about you know spirituality, you know the truth about money, the truth about time, the paradoxes we've been taught as a kid. There was some, there was a there's a philosopher named Alan Watts. He was probably the first one that came to my life to teach me these things and then somehow through I don't know the law of attraction whatever I find myself being around people that actually lived the lifestyles that I wanted just 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 happened to be that way I didn't really look for them they just happened to live the lifestyle I wanted and then I just started listening to them and they, they started talking about this lifestyles of digital nomad you know simple living you know not not working so hard every single day, not every every five days, and then, you know, splurging on the weekends. Like, I just found myself in that situation, being ready to take in that information and what's required to live that digital nomad simple living, right? And so what is digital nomad simple living? Like, it's, for me, and how I experienced it, it's just literally making your living online, right? making your living online and and when you do it correctly um you shouldn't really have to be flustered about like the average nine to five person is whether it is you're a graduate or someone that's further along in their career that's for me is the digital nomad style lifestyle um you literally make all your money online and um doing whatever things that you enjoy doing and the money just comes in and you can pretty much spend the rest of your time doing what you want to do. And like, it took me a while to really 
to really think that was possible because obviously me being someone that's you know, conditioned to work a job for his whole life it took me probably that seven years to finally be like be comfortable with actually saying goodbye to my job because I had dreams of sort of having my own business and doing my own things when I was three years into working but then I was like oh I don't know if I can actually do that I didn't have the confidence inside me. I didn't have the guts to do it but then seven years bang right after some good experiences in the digital nomad space did it did it and I and I and I resigned from my job I think five weeks ago and I haven't replaced it ever since I've just been doing my own thing since then and um and here's the weird thing though, like my bank, my, my finances are actually better than they were while I was working for the last seven years, right? Um, they, they obviously got better because I, I knew how to took, take care of my finances, but like for the last month, my bank accounts, our bank accounts really have been, you know, healthy. Like they haven't really gone below the level and they've always been increasing. And I think... That's when you know, and it could be other way around. Like you could be an employee and work with someone and then you live that really dream life for yourself. Like, awesome, that's great. But then this is this video is here is just about me finding out that, oh, the digital nomad lifestyle is actually for me, not the nine to five lifestyle, right? And so that's just, I'm, I'm so grateful that I found it only really at my young age. And um, yeah, I'm just finding that like, my life's actually been really, really stable for the last seven months, four weeks. I've really enjoyed it. I love myself. I, I love myself more. I find myself not really reaching out for addictions, post pre addictions, or like things to help me sort of tolerate my nine to five lifestyle. Um, my relationships are a lot better at home with my family. Um, and I just find myself being really happy to wake up the next day. Right? Um, like, for example, you guys know when you go on like a camping trip or something, right? You've been working or studying for like the last 10 weeks and you finally have a vacation and the night before you can't sleep, right? And then you still fall asleep, but then you wake up the next day super early to do whatever it is you want to do, right? And, um, but then you contrast that to like the next week and the week starting is like, oh, you know, Sunday night and then you have to wake up to go to work tomorrow and then like you somehow... You sleep enough, but then you somehow just don't have the the energy or spark to get out of bed and go to work, right? Um, it's been the it's been the first one for me for the last four weeks, right? Um, yeah, I sleep more, but the, I'm just ready to go out and do what I wanted to do there every day, right? It's been like so cool for me, and I, I hope you know for the people that are watching here, I hope that that kind of transition will probably become more common given the next few years I think people are waking up to like realizing that working nine to five isn't your only option with the with especially with the internet now and I think a lot of people are gonna make this transition pretty soon so if you're gonna do it do it I did it I'm still alive I'm happy so um yeah it's it's been great so so basically to sum that up I just I went through bad experiences nine to five and all that entails behind it and then somehow I believed in myself that I was somehow able to create the lifestyle that I wanted to over a period of time, right? So for me, it took me probably seven years from day one of trying to make my own lifestyle. And now I finally got it. I've got a rental apartment, cost me 200 bucks a week. Um, I have all the things that I enjoy. I like bicycles. I have nice food in the fridge. And every single week I have enough fun resources coming in, more that's going out and so Pretty much I can live this way indefinitely, right? When I was working my job, I was literally making a lot more, right? I was making probably $45 an hour working 40 hour weeks, right? Or getting paid 40 hour weeks. You guys know what it's like. And um, I just found myself spending all that money so easily. Like it didn't, I didn't question myself spending that money because like, I went through so much hardship and crap that whole fortnight to get that money. I was like, oh, I deserve that, you know, really expensive lunch. I deserve that really expensive pair of shoes, clothing. I deserve to send my girlfriend to a really nice dinner and then just ching, 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 ching. 
every single day or every single like night like it money went as, as as much as it came in when i was working that lifestyle that i didn't enjoy the money went out pretty much straight away so but now it's like since i'm living this lifestyle that i me i enjoy this lifestyle this is my lifestyle your lifestyle might be different from what you enjoy you might be living it already you don't have to change it to what i'm doing but like once i started living the lifestyle i wanted i found myself being able to second guess myself to spend money on things that i didn't need and therefore yes i make less money in my hostels because i'm not working as hard as i used to but i have a much higher net income and like that's the game changer folks like it's not about how much money you make it's how much money you keep right so anyways that that that's that's how i got started with digital nomad stuff lifestyle i went through the hard yards of finding out what i didn't want and then eventually through time through not i wouldn't say i was just i wouldn't say i was physically forcing myself to find that lifestyle that i wanted but i just i just kept the faith inside myself that hey i know i'm capable of finding what i want in life and then somehow after seven years finally got it for the last month so anyways we'll switch we'll switch gears to like how it's been for the last um, last four weeks and yeah it's been good so i guess i didn't when i resigned from my job i didn't really just lie in bed and be like oh okay i'm not in a job now i'm just gonna fall asleep no i wasn't like that i was literally smack bang straight into my side hustles that i was doing before i quit so um the main side hustle that i was doing before i quit for the last seven months was the shoe reselling you've seen videos of that on the channel um i literally just go to my local outlets and then just find shoes that are on discount and then re-list them online and send them all over the world to whoever wants to buy them um it's 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 really cool i really enjoy it because when you list them online you, your customer base just like you know right it's not like when you're nine to five your customer base is limited like to whoever's in your locality when you have the internet power of the internet you can like literally increase your customer base to like the whole world honestly so um yeah that's that's the power of the internet and that's why it's called digital nomad you can pretty much do anything you want with the internet and make money from there so that's the main side hustle i've been doing since then and yeah it's literally been that's been supporting my myself financially since then um, also, you don't have to, I don't pay myself superannuation. That's a different topic altogether. All the benefits I used to have when I was working on a job, that's just, you know, different topic. But um, also other things as well I've been doing for fun. I've been doing Uber Eats, you know, delivering food to people um, on, my, on the bike. And that, that's been fun. It's, uh, it's not something I really enjoy doing, but it's just something where I think um, just gets gets me outside, gets me outside doing things. So um, yeah, so obviously reselling clearance products online for eBay, Marketplace. Second one is Uber Eats. Um, the third one has been just the two things I find here and there. You know, someone might call me, text me saying I need help with this. And I'm like, yep, I'll do it for this fee. Um, and the fourth thing that's really been helping me mentally, my mental health is YouTube, right? Um, being able to document and share to the world what I've been doing for the last um, few months, few weeks has been really, really cool. Um, I, I have been recording myself, talking to myself before starting digital, digital nomad life, but didn't really have the guts to really share those things there because I was pretty miserable working that job and I didn't want to share that negativity with you guys. Um, that's, not what I'm, that's not what I'm about. So. Yeah, it's just, I think if you start a YouTube channel, you do it because you want to help other people, um, not just make money. Well, you can, you can, I think the other way around exists as well. But for me, it's just like just sharing my experiences and trying to help other people to do that way. And I think if you're happy about your life and you're really elated and you're content with your life, you want to share it with other people, right? So um, that's why I'm doing it there. So, and it's also legacy as well, right? Um, YouTube's also about legacy. Like if I somehow die pretty soon or 
if I'm 70, 80 years old and I, I don't, and I think I don't have nothing to show for it, well, check out my YouTube channel. I've been uploading thousands of videos ever since then. So it's just a place where there's a legacy of things that I've been doing there. So yeah, if people want to know about TN, they can just look at all the videos that he's uploaded. So yeah, that's it. So that, that's how it's been for me. Just literally been doing those five or four things and probably not working as much as I used to. I'm, I definitely don't work 40 hours a week. I probably work around, let's say 20, 20 to 30 hours a week. And that's pretty much all I want to do. Um, I don't want to do more than that. If for some reason I need the money and I need to start working harder, I definitely can. The option is there, but at the moment I don't really need to. We have a pretty significant cushion since leaving my job. And um, that will obviously continue to grow because of the way we're living right now. And um, yeah, it's been good. I highly recommend it. Like a lot of people, I think I see a lot of people that say they want to quit their job, but then um, they don't know what's, what you need to do is that you need to make sure your life is simple enough and you need to know, make sure that your status in society is in check, right? So what I mean by that is, are you prepared to be laughed at or humiliated in front of people because you're not working a nine to five job that has a high status, right? Me being a manager in accounting, oh sorry, a senior in accounting, was a pretty high status job. I'd agree, but then like I was I was mentally ready to just drop that. Drop that and like not nah, I wanna be a basic person, I'm gonna be like a, a scab who sells stuff online that he got a discount in the store. I'm gonna be that person that, you know, delivers food for someone, it's really icky, it's a very international student thing to do. Or I don't care. Like, that makes enough money for me and I get to do whatever I want with my time afterwards. Like, I can ride my bike or go for a walk as much as I want now. I didn't have that option before. I'm not chained to a desk now anymore. Right? It's like, so that's what I mean by social status. Like, are you ready to cut your tires with your social status since leaving that place? Since leaving that nine to five area? Um... I will say this though, if you do have kids and a family, this probably might not work for you at first because when you have a life with children that are still need you to, for them to survive, um, your life is definitely not simple in that sense. Like, because when you have kids, especially in the current era, it's very, it's very hard for you to just say, I quit my job and then your kids stop. Like, can't do that. It works for us because we don't have kids. We have two pets, two cats, um, and just ourselves. So I think if you do have a family, it's a definitely a lot harder to, 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 to make that change for sure. Um, so if anyone's out there, you know, and wants to live a simple life or a digital nomad life, you'll find a lot of them on YouTube don't have kids. Um, most of them, because it's just easier. Um, they can just pack up and leave if they want to too. So um, yeah, if you have kids, then this video is probably not for you, unfortunately. But um, but anyways, that's the video. Um, it's been great living a digital nomad life. It's motivated me to share this video with you guys. It's probably gonna be probably gonna be not the greatest of quality, but it's one of my first videos. So um, but I don't care. I don't care. I, I love being able to talk about my life now because I actually love it. So it's all good. So digital nomad lifestyle, I think it's the go for the Western world that has internet access moving forwards. The concept of the nine to five is definitely going to die away um, pretty soon because people don't like it. And the second thing is it's very expensive um, for companies to afford for the, all the benefits and stuff like that. It's got to wrap them out. So the the life where you are responsible for your own life and your own performance and um, and you know results is the life that is the digital nomad life. I'm responsible for my life now. No one else is. It's only me. 
but I feel like I have the guts that I can 100% take care of my life and my family's life. So um, if you're out there and you want to live that digital nomad lifestyle, simple living, I highly recommend it. If you are my little brother or my little sister, I would highly recommend you do it and I would teach you 100% how to do it. So if you want to know how I did it in detail, just put comments in through there or just Google it or YouTube it and find someone that can teach you with more experience than I have. I am one month in, but I hope to make another video in probably six months time describing my experiences as a digital nomad. So thanks for listening in guys, if you've been this far, but I'm just gonna post this video and hope for the best. Hopefully it helps someone, helps someone out there. So enjoy guys, stay cool. It's quite hot here in Australia, but wherever you are, stay safe and know that um, you have the power inside you to do whatever you want to do. All right, the war is in here. I finally won that war and now I'm living the results of that. So um, have a good night, guys. See you around. Peace.